Hello, it's time to do our phase five phonics now. Are you ready? Can you get a piece of paper and a pencil ready? Pause the video to collect the resources and then click play once you're ready. Let's start by recalling all of the sounds that we have already learnt. They have been a little bit shuffled though, so make sure you look out. Do you remember? This is the soft ah sound. Excellent effort, everybody. Well done. Let's read our common exception words now. Remember, these words do have some phonic clues, but they also have some tricky parts. Now that we have revisited and revised previous learning, let's learn something new.
This is the common exception word, little. Can you repeat it after me? Little. Little, little, little. I was using a low, little voice, wasn't I? That's because little is another word for small or tiny. Let's see if this word has some phonic clues. We're going to sound out and blend this word together using any sounds that we already know. L, I, T, L, E. Little. Oh, does that sound like the word little? What was the tricky part? Yes, we can hear an L at the end, can't we? But we cannot hear E at the end of little. So the E is a tricky part, isn't it? And the L is almost making an all sound in little, isn't it? I could hear L, it at the start. So that is a very good and big phonic clue to help us to remember that this is the word little. And now we're going to have a look at today's new grapheme and phoneme correspondence. It is the digraph OR. OR. Which two letters make up this digraph? And which letter families do these two letters belong to? The A is a curly caterpillar letter. Can you practice forming it in the air with me? Put your finger on the green dots. Around, up, down and flick. Excellent, let's do that one more time. Finger on the green dots. Around, up, down and flick. Wonderful, now. Did you notice that the W is a zigzag monster letter? Let's practice forming it in the air. Start on the green dots and go down, up, down, up and flick. Let's do that one more time. Start on the green dots, down, up, down, up and flick. We're ready to practice forming this on our paper now. Can you get your line piece of paper? And can you put the tip of your pencil in between two lines? And follow with me. Around, up, down and flick. And now we'll do the W. Put the tip of your pencil between two lines. Down, up, down, up and flick. Are both of your letters sitting on the line? And are they of the same height as well? Pause the video to keep practicing and mastering your formation of these two letters. Then click play once you're ready. Well done for practicing your handwriting and taking your time. I wonder, do you know a different way of writing the OR graphene? OR do you know a different way of spelling it? Pause the video and write down the alternative representations. Then click play once you've done so. Do you remember we already learnt O, R, OR in our phase three phonics, didn't we? So this is another graphing representation for that same phoneme. I would like to see if you can read these six words with the OR digraph in. Pause the video and click play once you have read them all. Have you read each word? The first is JAW. The next is PRAWN. Then LAWN. At the top on the other side was the word CLAW. Then Thor. Hmm, you might not have ever heard that word before. When something thaws, it means that it was frozen and it's warming up and becoming a liquid or becoming soft. You might thaw out some food from the freezer before you cook it. The last word 
was a polysyllabic word. It was the word crawling. Oh, let's clap out the syllables in this word. My turn. Crawling. Your turn. Can you show me how many syllables there are in that word? I bet you could help me to spell some words with this digraph in too. The first word we need to spell is the word straws. This is a plural because there is more than one straw. Can you stretch out the plural of straw? Straws? S-t-r-o-s. Straws. And put it on your phoning fingers. S-t-r-o-s. Straws. Wow, how many phonemes are there in that word? Can you show me? Can you write it down? When you've written the plural straws, you might be able to write the singular straw. The next word we're going to write is shawl. A shawl can go over your shoulders. It's a bit like a warm jumper. Shawl. Let's stretch it out. Shawl. Shawl. And put it on your phoning fingers. Shawl. Shawl. Can you write it down? There are two digraphs in this word. Have you underlined them with your sound buttons? The next word we're going to write is the word drawing. Drawing. Let's stretch out this word together. D -r -o -e -ng. Drawing. And put it on your phoning fingers. D -r -o -e -ng. Drawing. Five different phonemes. Can you write it down? You might have noticed that this word has the suffix ing on the end. Can you remember what that means? We're going to check our spellings now, but if you're not ready, just pause the video and then click play once you are ready. Tick or fix each spelling. Are you able to apply all of that learning that we have done today? Repeat this sentence after me. I saw a little girl drawing on the lawn. Your turn. My turn. I saw a little girl drawing on the lawn. Your turn. My turn. Counting the amount of words in the sentence. I saw a little girl drawing on the lawn. Nine words. Can you pause the video and write down, I saw a little girl drawing on the lawn. Click pause and click play once you've written it. Well done everyone! Now you can check some of your spellings here. I wonder if you've written our new common exception word little and spelt it with all six letters that you needed. Did you write the new digraph or in saw drawing and in lawn? Well done! Thank you for participating and engaging with our phase 5 phonics today. See you soon!
Bye!